Before you begin adding your new HomeSeer outdoor camera, make sure HS3 and HomeSeer Mobile are both up to date. Once this is done, it is important to make sure that the account you are logged into HomeSeer Mobile with has administrative rights. To check this, open the HS3 web interface and navigate to Tools, Setup, and then click the Network tab. Find the account you're using to log into HomeSeer Mobile with and make sure that the user rights are set to Admin or Admin Plus Local. Next, you need to check and make sure cameras are discoverable by your HomeSeer system. Click on the Camera tab and make sure Auto Discover Supported Cameras is checked. Now launch HomeSeer Mobile on your Android or iOS device and navigate to the Camera section. Click the Add Camera button at the top of the screen and then select the Outdoor Camera icon to begin the adding process. The HomeSeer Outdoor Camera can work on either Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Today I will be going over both methods, starting with the Wi-Fi setup. Begin by selecting the Wireless icon. In this step, you'll need to enter your Wi-Fi network information. It is important to note that the HomeSeer cameras will only work on 2.4 GHz networks and that the Wi-Fi name and password are both case sensitive. Once these are entered, click Continue. Now give the camera a name. This is what will appear in HS3 and in HomeSeer Mobile. The following screen will prompt you to enter the default username and password for the camera. This will be pre-entered by the app. If needed, the information can also be found printed on the bottom of the camera. Continuing on, you'll need to enter a new password for the camera. This is to prevent any unauthorized access to the video feed. Once your new password has been entered, click Continue. Extending from the camera is a cable that splits to provide a power connector, an Ethernet port, and a reset button. At this time, if you have not done so already, plug the camera into power and wait 30 seconds for it to fully power on. Once powered on, hold down the reset button for 3 seconds until the green LED on the Ethernet port cable stops blinking. In the app, click Continue. A QR code will be generated that the camera will need to read in order for the settings to be configured. To read the code, hold the center of your phone's screen in front of the camera's lens and slowly draw it away until it is about 10 inches away. Once the camera has read the code, the All Done screen will appear in the app, indicating that the pairing process is complete. If the camera does not read the code, increase the brightness on your phone and try again. And that's it! Once the camera has been configured, it will be available in the main camera screen in the HomeSeer mobile app. Simply select the camera to view the feed. Another way of connecting your HomeSeer outdoor camera to your network is through an Ethernet connection. Before you begin, make sure the Ethernet cable has not already been connected to the camera. If you have already plugged in the Ethernet cable, remove it, and then follow the Removing the Camera from HomeSeer instructions in the manual. Once this is done, restart the camera's inclusion procedure. When you're ready, select the wired icon in the app. Now give the camera a name. This is what will appear in HS3 and in HomeSeer Mobile. The following screen will prompt you to enter the default username and password for the camera. This will be pre-entered by the app. If needed, the information can also be found printed on the bottom of the camera. Continuing on, you'll need to enter a new password for the camera. This is to prevent any unauthorized access to the video feed. Once your new password has been entered, click Continue. At this time, if you have not done so already, plug the camera into power and wait 30 seconds for it to fully power on. Once it is fully powered on, click Continue. It is now time to connect the Ethernet cable. Once connected, the software will detect the camera and configure the settings. The All Done screen will appear in the app, indicating that the pairing process is complete. And that's it! Once the camera has been configured, it will be available in the main camera screen in the HomeSeer mobile app. Simply select the camera to view the feed. To learn more about HomeSeer's line of cameras and any of our other home automation products, visit us at homeseer.com. And until next time, take care.